Hi everyone! In this video today, I'm going to be unboxing the brand new Chewy ebook that I got from Kickstarter, from pledging on their Kickstarter campaign. Uh, today I received it and I didn't got any tracking number and if you are asking who delivered it here in the United States, uh, it was delivered by DHL. They came this morning to deliver this package and well actually this, well, they didn't actually um, delivered this exactly of course it was covered in the box but yeah you get the idea uh, DHL, DHL came, came today to deliver my Chewy notebook the ebook as you can see here and the version that I got is the one that has a gigabyte of RAM and 128 gigabyte of solid state because um, that was the one of the cheapest options of course and uh, actually uh, I'm planning to use this for lightweight stuff so I don't need the one terabyte version um, so yeah, I got it today and you can see the box is fairly simple, it doesn't have too much stuff, 100 and gigabyte SD, SSD I mean. So yeah, I got it. Let's start by unboxing it. This is the only thing that came in the box, so uh, inside it I suppose that there's other stuff, so uh, aside from the notebook, because it's supposed to have a cover and uh, the keyboard I guess. Uh, so yeah, let, let's start by unboxing it. This is the CPU that it uses, by the way, the M3 6Y30, that's the CPU that it uses. So, let's start by taking off the wrapping that it has, alright, and now, oops, sorry, <laughs> it's just, I'm really excited because I just got this uh, today and I was looking forward to having this because I really don't want to have my laptop with me, um, and the form factor of this is really simple. And I have a desktop, so I'm really not doing anything like heavy in the laptop anymore. So probably this will satisfy my needs for now on. But um, yeah. All right. Uh, let's take the box out. I mean, let me open it. And there we have it. So it also has the stylus. It comes with the with the stylus. That is another of the great stuff that of this tablet. Um, because it's actually a uh, it's a hybrid laptop tablet whatever you decide how to call it call it because uh, it comes with the cover too so it should be here so i just wanted to show you the pen that it has so this is the pen that's great now let's start by taking off the tablet it's small there we go it's actually small it's smaller than I thought it would be. So here it has the um, the screen. Of course, this is the stuff that we need to take out. It's an IPS screen. It has the M3 Cipro 3 processor, the keyboard, magnetic docking keyboard, and the the stylus, touchscreen. Of course, yeah, everything. There are two layers of protective film on the screen. If this affects your experience, please turn them off. So yeah, it says that there's two. Um, layers that, uh, that can be turned out. Um, I just took out this because of course who wants to have all of this in the screen I mean. So this is the tablet. I'm going to turn it on later after I finish with the unboxing. Here are the instructions of the pen. It says that it uses AAAA battery. Um, I don't know what actually that means. Um, let me see. Uh, right click, pen tip, replaceable pen tip. Is this is supposed to be taken out? I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to read the instructions later. Um, apparently it uses a battery, but I'm not sure if it's installed or not. So let's continue unboxing it. Here we have some stuff. Let's see what's here. The manuals. Actually, we have the manuals. So this is the warranty. This is the product inspection report. It should have, uh, yeah, it, it passed certification because it has the seal and it has the keyway um, um, sign, it's signed, so pretty much. And then we have here the user manual of polynuclear series. Uh, their user, their user, thank you for purchasing and all that. So this seems to be really general instructions and stuff. Um, let's continue. So we have here the keyboard. Yes, the keyboard. We have the keyboard here. 
which is what I told you that it should come with the keyboard and it also has the trackpad here now it seems that this um, I don't know if it, this is a defect of it uh, they said that something in the in the uh, how do I call it on the Kickstarter updates they told something about the keyboard quality um, but uh, so far it seems um, they click and that's great uh, the other thing that I did notice is this over here not sure if this is normal or, or what but this should be the trackpad of course and we have the keyboard here um, it has the F button keys which is great it has of course is the QWERTY layout keyboard um, Windows button menu button uh, I mean keys of course these are keys these are not buttons <laughs> but yeah we have the um, cover here which is great speaking of which the the tablet itself it this should be um, the kickstand actually yeah it's the kickstand is uh, this part of so technically there we have it yep and I don't know if it has uh, if it has these replaceable parts I think it does but I'm not sure um, I'm not going to start tinkering with with this um, but um, some Kickstarter users were asking if the solid-state disk was replaceable so that's a great experiment to do later but not now um, Chewy does not recommend doing that because it will void the warranty so yeah let's continue let's see what else we have here oh, there's nothing more here and yeah pretty much here to be the power adapters or the power adapter let's see this is what this is a Chewy certificate of conformity that yeah, this pass certification all right pretty much yeah the power cable um, this is the adapter itself it is not um, powered by USB-C it has this its own power connector and this is a 12 volts 2 amps adapter and that's what comes with it and with this we just finished the unboxing all right so now the question is if the tablet is powered on I mean if it has power to, to be powered on so I'm going to open the kickstand here it's kind of I don't know I guess it's with one hand or something um, they should have made this better but probably I'm just I just want to be able to power it on so I guess this yeah oh it's magnetic and it's pretty well so let's start so to start I need to find the power button which I believe is this one over here let's see if it turns on there we go it seems that it's turning on which is perfect there we go it's turning on All right we can let me clean up the desk and it has Windows 10 preloaded which is great There we go, let me see. It's powering on. And it probably will need to be um pipes loading sideways for some reason. Right. Just a moment, there we go, it's powering on, still powering on. Still powering on. Actually, it's slowly. There we go. And the setup starts. So let's see. Yes. And let's see if the pen works. I really don't know um, how this is supposed to. If this. Yeah, it works. You can see the dot there. Now the setup and Contana starts talking. Yes, um, so take quiet, thank you. And okay, speakers, it says that it has a real tech audio. You can see it there. Let's see, yeah, it has a real tech audio. Yes, so pretty much. 
that's the deck that it has and let's start so I'm in the United States yes the keyboard layout so now it's asking me for the keyboard layout and the keyboard layout that I use is the United States International because that way I can add the accents, Spanish accents and, and other symbols easily it's faster alright let's connect to the network so I'm going to connect to the network so I need to enter my password alright so I entered the password and now it's connecting let's see if it connects because this is pretty much standard procedure when it comes to Windows and so far the pen is working great so let's go next and now it should say that it has some important stuff to do which usually means that it's downloading updates and that sort of stuff so it will take a while by the way while, um, while I was typing, uh, typing the password the keyboard it actually worked great the keys feels awesome I also forgot to show you the ports so after I finish this I'm going to show you the ports All right let's enter my account let's wait a second alright so I enter my account and now it's doing all of the account configuration and now it's asking me for the pin and now I enter the pin and now it's continuing to do the configuration so you can see that the keyboard has some backlit you can see that it can be turned on by pressing the FN button and the S key uh, FN key I'm and the S key so yes I'm going to do here next and now only save also this PC I don't use OneDrive at all and accept I'm going to keep using yes 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 I just go with the default options you know I really don't mind if Microsoft has my data and, and that sort of stuff I mean Right, so setup is finishing. Let's see. Just a moment. Hi. It's continuing to do the setup. We can see that the setup takes uh, a little of time when it comes to setting up. There are other processors that are faster in this type of stuff. And considering that it has a solid state disk, um, it should be faster too but again the CPU that this computer has uh, the laptop or tablet how you want to call it is a really simple low power CPU so that may be why it is taking a few minutes to do all of the installation and it actually finished right now which is a great thing right so now we can have the desktop <laughs> and it seems that it has shortcuts and that sort of stuff in the computer let's see that's manager I want to see the CPU itself so you can see it's at, uh, it has two cores and four logical processors which means uh, the treats actually so it's a uh, dual core but it's um, it, it has four treats um, it has 8 gigs of RAM as specified and the disk is 120 gigs actually 119 because it's formatted and that sort of stuff um, NetAc SSD, never heard of that brand before so I'm probably going to guess it's one of those Chinese brands and um, yeah pretty much that's it for the machine the pen is really responsive, I really like how the pen responds to movement but it also seems to make some noise so I'll probably be careful not to scratch the screen with the tip auto it should be made specifically for that but I don't know um, yeah pretty much they have some shortcuts here I don't know why they decided to put the shortcuts there um, pretty much I just usually erase the I don't erase it actually I just go to view and this uh, you know disable the show icons really I don't use the icons rather I prefer to go to start and browse the applications from here by typing it here down below but yeah pretty much that's pretty much the chewy 
ebook laptop that we are seeing here the tablet and i got it today and i'm really excited and i'm going to use it because yeah pretty much this will probably be my new tablet and it will replace my laptop and, uh, and that sort of stuff um let's take a look at the cpu yeah because it's not connected it's acting a little weird um with the speeds it's like going down up uh, but yeah it's an intel cpu too and amd is really kicking um you know it's challenging intel and the new amd cpus are really beating intel and yeah pretty much um, amd probably needs to step up their game when it comes to mobile cpu and they could probably beat intel when it comes to uh, tablet cpus but yeah that's for another time that's another story um the point of this video is to just to show you the chewy tablet here and it's really awesome so finally because i forgot to show you the ports i'm going to show you the ports so it has here um usb-c port usb 3.0 port this is a micro display port i guess because it's, it's not a mini it seems to be smaller than the mini it has the power input here dc in on the top we can see the micro sd slot volumes here volume buttons you can see and the power button and then on the other side we see the headphone jack here another usb 3.0 port and on the downside we see just the the proprietary connector well let's see if the camera focus because yeah this camera is a mess there's a newer model of this camera that actually fixes the focus um because this is one of the first sony 4k cameras that came out fdr ax33 so there's another model that is very faster and yeah so this is the connector that goes for the keyboard here and yeah pretty much that's about it so thank you for watching this video i hope you like it don't forget if you did like this video um don't forget to like this video on youtube if you like this video um share this video with your friends comment on it and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you for watching